bakers and cake artists around the globe. This is Chef Emily and welcome to Cakes and Lifestyle by Chef Emily. Bago natin gawin ang ating recipe ay syempre mamimili ulit ako ng isa na namang winner ng ating commentator sa isa sa ating mga video. So dito po sa video natin ng uh, red velvet cinnamon roll. So doon po tayo kukuha ng winner at ang napili po natin ay walang iba kundi si Is Simply Delicious Recipe. Sabi ni Is, Thank you chef, God bless you and more powers. Isa kang anghel, aba, anghel na pala ako, <laughs> na tulad sa, sa tulad namin na nagnenegosyo. Ito talaga inaabangan ko eh. Sana magawa ko ito soonest. Excited na ako. Excited na rin po ako. Hindi pa, hindi pa man kita nami-meet personally, pero love na po kita. Hoping to attend your class someday. Thanks again. Is thank you so much for this very wonderful message. If you want to attend to our uh, workshop schedules, you can actually PM Hansel Sol. She is my assistant for all my uh, workshop. We also have workshop online for the icing class and a lot more. And we can travel around the Philippines. Pero wag mo na pas mo na ngayong COVID time. Okay. So again, if you want to claim your prize, send me a message to my Gmail cakestyle.eperalta at gmail.com Today, isa na namang delicious mouth-watering at talaga namang may enjoy ninyo na recipe ang ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon. Alam ko na marami sa inyo pag sinabing donut, yun yung may puta sa gitna. Tama ba ako? Well, ngayong araw na to ay marami po kayo tuturo sa inyo or pwede po itong uh, recipe tuturo ko sa inyo ay very versatile. Pwede po itong fried, pwede siyang baked, but the consistency, taste, flavor, and the fluffiness won't change. Pwede fried or pwede baked, but this version, ituturo ko sa inyo, ay baked muna. Since marami naman po dyan na uh, uh, fry kung gusto nyo fry. Pero this time, sabi ko nga sa inyo, you can make this donut pahaba, pabilog, or may butas sa gitna. Bahala na kayo kung anong gusto ninyong shape ng donut ang gagawin ninyo. Alright? So, handa na ba kayo? Gawin na natin ang recipe to. Let's go! Para sa ating recipe ingredients, meron tayong 2 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 cup of bread flour, 1 fourth cup of powdered milk, I'm using bear bran, half a cup of sugar, 1 teaspoon of salt, 2 pieces of medium-sized egg, 1 fourth cup of fresh milk, 1 teaspoon of French vanilla extract, this is flavored by Bakersfield, and half a cup of butter. And of course, i-prepare na po natin ang ating yeast mixture. That would be at least a teaspoon of sugar, 1 fourth cup of warm water, and 1 tablespoon of instant yeast. Set aside for a few minutes until it blooms. Now, for our dry ingredients, we have the 2 cups of all-purpose flour. Isif po na muna natin. Kasama ang 1 cup of bread flour and our powdered milk. Idagdag na natin ang ating half a cup of granulated sugar and 1 teaspoon of salt. Gamit ang dough attachment sa ating mixer. At a very low speed, i-mix po natin ang mixture and then add the egg one at a time. Pagkatapos, ang ating bloom yeast. One fourth cup of fresh milk. Para sa fresh milk, pwede po kayong gumamit ng evaporada kung wala po kayo available ng fresh milk sa inyong Country. And then, of course, ang ating paborito, walang iba ko hindi ang Bakersfield Flavored French Vanilla Flavor. Once everything is combined, pwede na natin ihalo ang ating softened butter. This is one cup of softened butter. Pwede na natin siyang speed up at medium-high speed 
for about 5 minutes until everything is well incorporated and the dough develops. If your dough looks a little bit sticky, you can actually add a few tablespoons of all-purpose flour on it para medyo mag-stiff siya ng konti. Pero please dahan-dahan lang sa paglagay kasi ayaw naman natin na masobrahan ang uh, all-purpose flour na maging cause para mag-harden ang ating mixture. So I add approximately 1 tablespoon of all-purpose flour on the mixture. Okay, so ayan, patap tapos na nga po siya. Mapapansin ninyong okay na yung dough natin kapag ka, pansin po ninyo ang kinis na ng dough. See? Parang buo na siya, yan o. Oh. Oh, ang kinis, di ba? And it's almost clean na rin yung ating bowl. So before we touch that, i-prepare muna natin ang ating mixing bowl, a little bit of oil in our hand. And that's our beautiful dough. So this is a little bit sticky po ha. Hindi po siya yung uh, buo hard dough. Okay, using my hand with oil, yan ang pang kukuha ko ng dough sa ilalim. See how clean, smooth this dough is? And that's perfect. Now leave it to rest for at least 20 to 30 minutes until it doubles in size. Alright, so nag-double in size na po siya. Malalaman natin na ready na siya pag tinusok natin ng ganyan and then hindi siya bumabalik. So, ayan, dumabog na siya. Now, let's release the air. Okay. Then, lalagay na natin siya dito sa ating table. Make sure na malilis sa table niyo. You don't need to put extra flour on your table. Weigh for approximately 40 grams each. In this recipe, you can make 20 pieces of 40 grams or 24 pieces at 35 grams measurement. Alright, for the circle donut, gagawin mo naman po siyang paikot ng ganyan sa kamay mo. Until such time na kuminis na siya. ta -da! So that's okay, pero don't leave it like that. Using your palm, press it down para lumapat siya. There you go. And then, ipoproof na natin siya. Okay, para naman sa ating uh, tough roll donut, using your rolling pin, flatten out mo siyang ganyan, nipis lang. Yan. Ganda, di ba? And then, put whatever fillings na gusto mong ilagay sa loob. So, for now, let's put this super yummy cheddar cheese in the middle, like that. Silt natin ng konti. Malalaman mo na maganda yung dough mo kapag ka roll mo at gano'n yung kanyang texture para siyang window pane. Yan, ang ganda-ganda yung tingnan. Roll very, very thin pero hindi siya napupunit. Alright, and then later on, we will fill this with different toppings and different fillings like this one with cheese and then Bavarian fillings naman dito sa loob ng ating mga whole donut. Sprinkle it with our uh, dusting powder with milk, yung combination ng ginagawa natin. And then the rest, top with different uh, fruits and buttercream so we can decorate it beautifully for presentation. I will we'll bake this at 150 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. You can uh, extend to up to 15 minutes. It depends on the heat of your um, oven. For our dusting mixture, I'm going to add the dusting powder. Dusting powder is different from powdered sugar. Dusting powder, ito po yung hindi nagme-melt at, at the high humidity. So, some brands na alam ko is called Bianca. Or yung iba naman tawag dito is no powder. Half a cup of dusting powder and then one fourth cup of powdered milk. Ang gamit ko po dito are Bear brand. Okay, so once na na-combine na natin ang ating dusting mixture, we'll get our donuts, our uh, stuffed donut. Okay. 
With the same recipe of our baked milky donut, you can also shape it up into a circle and fill it up with Bavarian cream, just like what I'm doing right now. And then decorate it as you wish. What I'm using here right now is my favorite compound chocolate, Colata. Gustong gusto ko to kasi it's super rich in color. Talaga naman black and shiny siya. The rest of the donuts, you can decorate it with fresh fruits, buttercreams, or whatever fancies you. Just like this. Mmm, nakakatakam, di ba? At ito na nga ang ating big milky donut stuffed with ube halaya. So, ito po yung ginawa ko kanina. So, ayan na siya. Kita niyo naman. So yummy. You can sell this to whatever price po na gusto po ninyo. You can actually have it same price or a little bit higher from the Ube Cheese Palace. So it's up to you. So, tikman na natin. Gusto, gusto ko yung tumitikin ako eh. Okay, nasa ito. Mmm. Ano ko yun? Mmm. Ano nambot nambot? Ayan o. Ayun yung halaya natin. So, this one is healthier compared sa version po niya na fried. Kasi kung maaari iniiwasan ko talaga masyado yung fried. Kasi alam niyo na medyo health conscious tayo ng konti. <laughs> but, really, this is so soft. I'm really, really sure that you will enjoy this. And see, see how soft is that there. So, kanina pa yan, pero it's still, it's very, very soft. Yan. So again, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat na nanood. At ngayon po ay 10,000 subscriber na po tayo. I'm hoping na maka 5,000 to 20,000 po tayo agad-agad very very soon para magkaroon po ulit na isa na namang raffle na gagawin po natin sa ating page sa Chef Emily Peralta. So again, please do uh, like our page Chef Emily Peralta. And join our group, which is the Cake Artists and Bakers Network Philippines. And of course, like and subscribe our YouTube channel. This is again, Chef Emily Peralta of Cakes and Lifestyle by Chef Emily. Thank you for watching and bye!